What's up, family? Man, I just want to jump on real quick and have a heart-to-heart -heart with you guys. I'm talking about secrets. Secrets. Are secrets good or are secrets bad? <sighs> What's done in the dark is going to come to light. It is what it is. It's going to come out. It's going to come out. And it's going to come out when you least expect it to. Tell my secrets. God help us. We have to understand it first and foremost. Every one of us has secrets. Some secrets are necessary. And there's different types of secrets. What am I talking about? You don't give everybody the, your code to your cell phone. You don't give everybody, you know, your password for your credit card, your debit cards, your account information. You don't give all that information out because you know people are grimy as fuck. People are messy as hell. You know people are going to take that information and run with it. And man, they're going to rob you blind. And act like, man, they didn't do shit. So you know that you can't give them that information. You know that you can't just give people your social security number. You don't just plaster that everywhere. You don't just be walking up and down the street talking about my social is da 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 because you already know what people going to do. That's private information. That's just for you. You have to keep that secret. You have these young people. Not just young, you have people, period. I was an, I'm a Mason. I haven't been active in years, but once a Mason, always a Mason. Oh, man, you shouldn't be a Mason. They got secrets that they didn't. Shut the fuck up and get on with your ignorant ass. Everybody got secrets. Everybody got secrets. Every major company has secrets. They do. You have secrets too. You don't tell people your social security number. You don't tell people the code to your freaking EBT card. Because you probably ain't got credit cards or debit cards. But if you had them, you, you keep that information a secret too. See, that's a different type of secret. See, KFC is not going to give you the, the ingredients to their chicken. That's secret. These restaurants aren't going to give you the secrets to how they make their premier dishes. That's secret. We don't have a need to know. We don't have a right to know that information. So just because somebody has a secret doesn't mean that they're a bad person. Because everybody has secrets. But then there's other type of secrets. Secrets, you're in a relationship and you all doing whoop do do whoop and you know that you shouldn't be out doing whoop do whoop do whoop because man, I already got a commitment at home. I got a beautiful woman at home. I shouldn't be entertaining any other woman. I shouldn't be looking at pictures and videos of other women. I shouldn't be entertaining sexual conversations with other women. And so what we do is we keep all that shit. We got our code to our phone. And we got all these videos and all these pictures of all these other women. We looking at everybody else's shit on their social media platforms. And then we want to have our passcode without our spouse, our significant other at home, 
being able to get into our phone. Why? Because, man, that's secret. I don't want her seeing what I got. I don't want her seeing what I'm talking about. I don't want her looking at all the pictures that I got. So we got secret files. Because we don't want them to see what we have. We don't want them to see that we're a dog. We don't want them to see that we're unfaithful and we're untrustworthy. We don't want them to see that we, we ain't shit. So we got to keep this stuff secret. Because you're tight to kids. We got to keep this shit secret. Because he'll leave me if he find out that I've been untrusting, untrustworthy. He'll he'll leave me. She'll leave me if they find out that I've been fucking and whoop the whoop the whoop and all this other shit with all these other people. Secrets. See those kinds of types of secrets always come out. Those type of secrets always come back to bite you in the ass when you least expect it. Those type of secrets the secrets <sighs> that can bring harm to somebody. You know it will break her heart if she knew you were talking to all these other women. You know it would crush her spirit if she knew you were looking at videos and her friends were sending you videos and pictures of them. You know it would break her heart if she knew you was all cheating and hoeing. See, that's one type of secret. Then there's the other secret. Secret ingredients. Secrets to our credit cards and debit cards. And there's another part secrets that go with this right here. I love martial arts. And there's certain things that you could do in martial arts that, man, these people ain't ready for. There's certain strikes that I could do. Man, I could hit you in a certain spot and paralyze you from your waist down. I could hit you in your neck in a certain spot and paralyze you from the waist down. I'm from your neck down. I could hit you in a certain spot of your body and shut down your heart. Shut down your internal organs. Secret. Everybody ain't ready for that. Everybody ain't capable of handling that. Everybody ain't mature enough to handle that. And so you're responsible to keep that a secret. Because you have these fools running around on the streets just hitting motherfuckers everywhere and striking motherfuckers everywhere just to see, just to show them, yeah, I know this and I can do this. And they ought to fucking causing harm. So you keep that as a secret because you know they can't handle it. They're not mature enough to handle that. There's certain conversations that you keep. Man, I, can't, I can't talk to you about this. You're not mature enough. You're not emotionally stable enough to have this type of conversation with me. So I can't have this conversation with you. So I'm not going to reveal to you what I know. Because you go out and do some stupid shit. Secrets. You got to know your audience. You got to know who you're talking to. You got to know who, who you're messing with. And what I mean by messing with. In training purposes. I got to know your mental st stability. I don't train people. 
I refuse to train people in martial arts. I'm not gonna be responsible for teaching you some stuff that you're not capable of handling. See me, I've gone past the training of martial arts. I'd rather train people how to live, how to live a healthy life, how to deal with their issues and their trauma and their pain and their suffering. And even then, you gotta take baby steps. Because everybody ain't capable of handling all the information at the same time. So you got to learn how to meet people and where to meet people. And what I mean by you got to meet people where they're at. See, in, in martial arts, there's levels. And so you're not ready for this stuff up here. You ain't proven yourself. You ain't showed that you're emotionally and physically capable of handling this up here. So I'm not going to teach you it. I'm not going to teach you anything about pressure points or any of this other stuff up here because you're not there yet. You're just a white belt. You're just getting started. So as you work your way up and prove yourself, okay, now you're ready for some of this other stuff. But until then, it's going to remain a secret. I'm not telling you. And I don't give a damn how motherfuckers come. Oh, you just don't know. If you know, then tell me. Oh, you don't know. That's why you won't show me that. People do all kind of stupid ass shit. And say all kind of stupid ass shit. As manipulation tactics to get what they want. And it is what it is. You just got to understand that. You just got to understand that. Secrets. Secrets. I'm sure Sean Combs thought all the stuff that he was doing would stay up under wraps. I'm sure all the stuff he did, I'm sure he didn't think the whole world would be finding out about it. And the world is starting to find out about a lot of the stuff he was doing. Not just him, but a whole bunch of other people. Secrets. There's this thing in life called karma. There's this thing in life that says what's done in the dark will come to light. You can hide it as long as you want to. Or you can hide it as best as you think you're capable. It's going to come out. What you've done to hurt other people. What you've done to get over on other people. It's going to come out. You have to grow up. And stop doing stupid ass shit. So you have to hold that as a secret. Because what happens is that starts to eat away at you internally. You holding all that toxic crap. It starts to consume you from the inside out. It starts to consume your mind. Talking about secrets. The little dirty secrets. It starts to eat at you. Like a parasite. Because those are harmful secrets. Those are destructive and toxic secrets. Man, we have to grow up. Everybody don't need to know everything about your past. Everybody's not emotionally capable of handling everything about your past. If you're talking to people and, and you're trying to show them that they can make it out of wherever they're at and we'll do them, okay, reveal the necessary information to help them along in their path. They don't need to know everything about your life. It ain't none of their motherfucking business, everything you've gone through, everything you've done. 
you get all these people that want you to tell them everything, reveal everything to me. Just, man, just be transparent to me, completely transparent, while they ain't been transparent at all. And they want all your information. They want all your secrets so they can beat you over the fucking head with them. They want all your secrets. They want all your information so they can hold you captive and so they can use you and dog you the fuck out. You gotta understand energy. You gotta understand vibrations. Everybody don't need to know everything about you. Especially if you haven't healed that information. When you've healed that information, you're gonna find out if you've healed it. When you start revealing it and people start attacking you. Tell my secrets. Man. I hope and pray that I said something to encourage you, to inspire you. Or to even challenge your way of thinking. Happy healing. I love you. Peace.